it's just crazy to think about how like a kid yeah. overnight is like on the top of a sport. You know what I'm saying? Like we just had Djokovic come this close to winning the uh, calendar, Grand, calendar Slam. Grand Slam. Yeah. We have Medvedev winning his first Grand Slam and plastered on all the news. Yeah, is this teenage girl that just that just took over the sport, dude? She, uh, she even just think about that for a second. <laughs> if someone told you that before this storm happened, you'd have been like, "You're lying. Shut up." Yeah, but here we are. You know what I mean? And and it just goes to show you. I mean, listen, she's got a lot of factors, play, and we're gonna get into it when it comes to why she could be one of the most lucrative athletes of all time. Period. Yeah. Right. Um, but she's got a lot of factors playing in there. Yeah. Right. She has the multicultural backgrounds playing on yeah. her playing on her side she is the face of uk tennis right now yeah probably well yeah right 100 I mean, percent. who right? else dan evans no. yeah exactly. <laughs> like no <laughs> sorry um no. yeah it's just, it's just wild well it's just she, wild. she would she speaks fluent mandarin right yeah. so it's like i mean think about like what china is gonna do right in terms of like i mean it's just like it's gonna be next level right so um no, it's um, I mean, she even like I remember, I remember watching like I saw a tweet and it was like because um, Ronaldo also just debuted for Manchester United and scored two goals, right? Come on, <laughs> this Come is completely on. separate topic. He's back but home. He, he's like the most famous athlete in the world, period. Like by far, social media wise, like in terms of like people who like knowing him around the world. I guess it's like one of the it's a huge event. She. Threw him off the page, threw him off him, threw him off the front page. Yeah, it's like as soon as Radicano happened, it was like bam everywhere. Like even like it was, it was not just across tennis; it was across all sports, and that's that's the crazy thing. You know what this this makes me think of? What? Andre Agassi, '90s tennis, Maria Sharapova, images everything. Yeah. Okay. This girl has the potential to be. One of the most profitable athletes of all time. And I know people said this about Osaka, and same stands for her. Yeah. But there's a lot of factors playing into here, and I want to get into them. Okay, first and I foremost. I mean, this is granted she remains, like, if she keeps up the 100%. level. 100%. If she, if she doesn't fall off, if, 100%. She, if she stays on top, then yeah. 100%. Because you figure she is 18 years old. Yeah. Um, and if this is just the beginning of her potential, I mean, my God. Right? But... You know, if she, you know, if they cut her a fat check and then she ends up being a one slam wonder, I don't know if, you know. Right, obviously. That stands Wait, so right. why so why, why could she be the most profitable player in the world or the most so, lucrative player in so the world? So there's a couple things going on. First of all, uh, from a market perspective, let's take into account the fact that right now it is the easiest time to be an athlete, influencer, media person, whatever. Right. And the reason being is because as if you have eyeballs on you, mm. no matter what field you're in, if you have eyeballs on you, let alone if you're an athlete, that, you know what I mean? Like, but if you have eyeballs on you, um, you could then be, you, essentially you have to be a media company first before you're a business. Right. Right. So if you take Rakanu, for example, if she has the entire world watching her, right, she can go into every single industry. Fashion, uh, hair, uh, whatever, sports, uh, agencies. Uh, she could literally, literally name something. It right. doesn't matter. Like right. she could be, she could be, she could Camera, have cameras. a million different <laughs> businesses. Cam what? Cameras, Canon. <laughs> Canon. Yes, hundred percent. She could literally sell anything. Yeah. Because why? Because it's 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 the the sweetheart of tennis, but also the gladiator. Yeah. And, uh, you know, everybody's favorite women's tennis player, right? Yeah. I'm just thinking, like, future, right? Right. Why not, right? Right. So let, that's the first thing, which is now it's, you know, it, especially coming from an athlete, tennis, very entrepreneurial sport, you're your own business. Um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of opportunities out there. Granted, as long as you're performing well, your image, your, your, your credibility stays yeah. there, you know, there's no stopping it. First thing. Second thing. Right. Um, I think you mentioned it earlier, but the, the multicultural uh, aspect. Dude, China. Is a huge market. The fact that she's, yeah, the fact that she's fluent in Mandarin is like, um, 
Well, who's the who's the basketball player? Who's uh Chinese? Yao Ming? Yao Ming. Yeah. yeah. Yao Ming is killing it. <laughs> Just, oh. Right? Cuz he's like cuz I mean he's he's got a seventh of the world following it. like I mean you know what I'm saying like so if she can get if she can get if if the fact that she's fluent in Mandarin alone, I mean, China's literally going to be eating her up like yeah. it's like it's there's no tomorrow. And let's not know? forget the Romanian market. Right, the <laughs> Romanian market, mate. Of course. But yeah, no, absolutely. And you know what's you know, and we said. And she's the face of UK tennis. Yeah. She's the face of UK tennis. Yeah. Right. The UK has been dying for someone like this. Yeah. That's going to come in, take over the sport. Right. Yeah. Come on. Well, because they also take credit for like creating the sport, right? Like, don't they like say that? Uh, although I think it was the French, but I don't know. Anyway, doesn't, I don't know that, doesn't, that doesn't that doesn't that doesn't matter. Then you get into like medieval tennis. And stuff. But there's a whole like it's coming home type of thing, right? The the whole coming home narrative, like with yes, football, and yes, then you got yes. like so it's all that. So they're just loving every second yes. of it, right? Um, no, but but you know it's it's interesting, like like we mentioned, like there there are players, especially in women's tennis, right, who like kind kind of rise over a very, very short period of time and then fall. Um, and we've seen that happen to multiple players. Um, but to be honest, like, she could be the most profitable player on the planet. Just I don't see like, a reason why not. Or a tennis player on the planet. Just, or not, maybe not on the planet, but like, you know, of, or I guess, yeah, of all time, right? I because if she, I mean, because if anybody could do it and, and, you know, just given her like personality from what we've seen so far, mm -hmm. She is seemingly like she's hardworking, but seemingly carefree, mm -hmm. right? She's bright. She has humor. Um, did I, I, and I, I, we, we talked about the, the Piers Morgan. Um, he, like his comments after Wimbledon and like how she responded, I think it was like recently with the US Open, mm -hmm. um, how he trashed her basically for pulling out in the, round of 16 right of Wimbledon of Wimbledon mm -hmm. and saying like she's not a champion and like or she's not acting like a champion and that like because allegedly she had like a panic attack because like you know she had breathing issues and anyway um and so someone someone was like uh what do you think about Piers or uh Piers Morgan's uh comments like mm -hmm. following the U.S. Open because like he was still trashing her for yeah. whatever reason because this guy's an idiot I think I didn't words. see his comments maybe Maybe it's maybe it was in the past, but she, he was literally like, I don't know who she is. Yeah, well now he's and using it's his like, words. And it's like, dude, she's just like, she's just, I, dude, the likability yeah. on this girl is through the roof. Yeah, it's unreal. It's it's crazy. How do you not like her? Yeah. How does anybody not like her? Yeah. Right. And you add in all this other stuff, like, yeah, no, makes sense. Checks out. Now they're gonna have all these all these brands bidding like. Against each other? Yeah. Forget it. No, I'm excited. I'm excited we'll see. to see. I just hope, and we were talking about this earlier, we both hope that all this sudden, like, a girl that just wants AirPods, now you're giving a fat check $2.5 million. Yeah. Now forget about what you're going to get from endorsements. Forget about, like, oh, go do this photo shoot. Go do that. Yeah. Do this. Blah, 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 blah. Sponsor this business. Blah, 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 blah. Like, that's going to be a lot. Dude, it's, it's for someone taxing. Forget for someone who's been on tour 10 years, let alone an 18-year-old that, that, that is just, you know, up and coming. It's just because it's just unexpected, right? Like, she was literally, she had a plane ticket. I think she had a plane ticket for post qualies. Like, it's just so, like, dude, it's so surreal. And yeah. now that, like, because here's, here's the other truth, right? Is, like, the state of women's tennis at the moment isn't great, Right? She, in a very short period of time, just became, became the head of it, right? As an 18-year-old, as a, someone who's ranked 150 in the world. Like, there's no, there, currently there's no Serena, like Serena Williams is, is no longer, you know, there. Um, you know, because she's obviously like falling off and has, I mean. At the moment. At the moment, yeah. Um, and it's just like, there's no one really. So it's like, if she's like holding the entire, like, if she's holding women tennis, women's tennis on her shoulders in terms of like, if she's the, the forefront, it's like, that's like, I don't think people understand how, how, how much that, like how much of a toll that takes.